One, ignition. We begin this week on not one, but two launch pads on opposite sides of the United States. From Cape Canaveral in Florida, at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, private space flight company SpaceX successfully launched two of its Falcon 9 rockets, both on the same day. According to SpaceX, the rockets carried a combined 45 Starlink satellites to join its orbiting constellation the company says brings high-speed internet to underserved parts of the world. The reusable rockets respectively landed on the drone ships a shortfall of gravitas and the affectionately named, of course, I still love you. But SpaceX wasn't yet done as the company launched a cargo resupply mission just days later and again from Florida's Cape Canaveral. This time, the company's Falcon 9 rocket carried a cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. On board was a Cygnus resupply capsule built by American Aerospace and Defense Corporation Northrop Grumman. The uncrewed capsule carried more than 3,700 kilograms of science projects and cargo in support of dozens of research experiments. Cygnus docked with the ISS early Friday morning. Finally this week, the end of a years-long mission that went far beyond the original plan. We say goodbye to NASA's Little Mars Helicopter Ingenuity, or GINI for short. It first began exploring Mars in 2021 with the goal of operating for about 30 days, which turned out to be three years. The end came when one of its rotor blades took a hit. As it was coming down for landing, at least one of its carbon fiber rotor blades was damaged. We're investigating the possibility that the blade struck the ground. This is what the blade looks like. It's a special fiber with a special contour. Jenny flew 72 times, traveled 18 kilometers, and flew as high as 24 meters at speeds of up to 36 kilometers per hour. The success story prompted NASA in 2022 to add two more mini-helicopters to a future Mars deployment. Agency officials say Ginny's $85 million mission is now officially over. So long, Ginny, and thanks for the postcards. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.